stay in balance here. And I can even give myself a double check number, maybe by taking this minus the sum of these, of these, to give myself that check number so that when I do stuff, I don't do anything that's going to mess me up. If that goes from zero, we have a problem, Houston. Houston. Okay, here we go. Deleting this, we're going to delete that. And maybe I put that into miscellaneous here, double clicking, plus. And then we're going to pick up the bank service charges in there, putting us back. So we're back matching out. So there's the depreciation, insurance, internet, eh, miscellaneous. Maybe I put the internet into utilities because that's kind of small right here. Maybe I'm like, yeah, maybe that should go into utilities. Let's take the, the take get this out and put it into utilities down here. Make it a little smaller. We'll say internet is now in utilities and then miscellaneous office supplies payroll breaking up the payroll taxes we could say maybe i should just have it in one account payroll expense including payroll taxes nah i'll break it out okay now let's mess with the order so let's say what looks like the payroll is the biggest one so let's move that up top i'm going to say Control x move that up here and then I'd like maybe the payroll taxes to be right underneath it because that just makes sense, even though it's not the next biggest one. So I'm going to move this down, cut, control X and paste it right here. And I'm going to move this one underneath the payroll expense, control X, put it right there, control V, and then depreciation. And then maybe utilities should go after that. So I'm going to 